Saltfish are majestic marine animals that were once found in coastal waters of the United States from Texas to North Carolina. Unfortunately, decades of mortality in fisheries and the loss of important nursery habitats led to dramatic reductions in both their numbers and range. Now they are generally only found in Florida and most commonly in southwest Florida around Everglades National Park. Sawfish are federally protected as endangered species under the Endangered Species Act and need your help to survive and avoid extinction. It is illegal to target, harm, harass, or handle sawfish in any way. This video will show you how to respect, release, and report sawfish. It demonstrates how to safely and legally interact with sawfish you encounter while diving, snorkeling, or boating, or catch while fishing with hook and line or nets. These guidelines will aid divers and boaters in safely, respectfully, and legally enjoying their encounter with a sawfish. The most important thing to remember when viewing a sawfish is to not disrupt its natural behavior. If a sawfish swims away because of your presence, then you are too close. So, if you are lucky enough to see a sawfish while diving, please keep your distance. Don't chase, feed, or touch any sawfish you encounter while diving. If you come across a sawfish while boating, kayaking, or paddleboarding, keep your distance so you don't disturb the sawfish. Stay far enough away from the sawfish to ensure that you don't run over it. While it is technically illegal to catch a sawfish, captures do occur while fishing for other species. Sawfish are extremely susceptible to entanglement in recreational fishing lines and commercial nets. These guidelines will teach you about quick, safe, and legal release of incidentally caught sawfish. Be aware, mishandling and the purposeful injury or killing of captured sawfish is both illegal and detrimental to the recovery of the population. The number one rule to remember when handling and releasing a sawfish is to leave it in the water at all times. Removing sawfish from the water is a clear violation of the law. Do not lift it out of the water onto your boat or a pier and do not drag it ashore. This ensures the safety of both the sawfish and the angler. Sawfish are powerful animals that can whip their saw very quickly, causing serious injury to the angler. If you catch a sawfish on hook and line, leave the sawfish, especially the gills, in the water at all times. Only if it can be done safely and with the sawfish in the water, untangle any fishing line wrapped around the rostrum or saw. You may need to cut the line along the saw with scissors or a knife to be able to free the line from the sawfish. Always cut the line as close to the hook as is safely possible. If you catch a sawfish in a net, leave the sawfish, especially the gills, in the water at all times. Starting at the tail and working towards the head, untangle the net, removing as much of it as is safely possible. You may need to cut the net with scissors or a knife to free the sawfish. Any sawfish caught while fishing must be released as quickly as possible. Don't use a gaff or ropes to secure or handle a sawfish as this may cause injury to the animal and delays the release. It is illegal to remove a sawfish's rostrum. Sawfish use their rostrum for detecting and catching food, so removing the rostrum ultimately leads to starvation. If you catch or see a sawfish, note its estimated total length and the date, time, and your location with GPS coordinates, if available. Scientists use your shared sawfish encounter data to track recovery of the population and steer research and conservation efforts. The ultimate goal is to recover the United States population of small tooth sawfish to the point that it no longer needs the protections of the Endangered Species Act. Following these, respect, release, 
report guidelines will help prevent extinction and aid in population rebuilding and ultimately recovery. For more information about sawfish research, management, and conservation in the United States, visit www.sawfishrecovery.org or call 1-844-4-SAWFISH.